Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. I am doing some basic, basic cleanup and nail prep. My nail health journey is going very well. I started January 1st, determined to stop picking and biting my nails. And I'm doing really well. I'm not biting at all. It was a new habit an old new habit that I had picked up at the end of 2023 and I don't I don't know why I just started and I couldn't stop anyway so this is where I'm at I have been trimming them and keeping them filed down because they're so thin and flimsy but now they're they're doing a lot better so I'm letting them get a little bit of a tip on them but I am going to just use a basic metal cuticle pusher to gently push my cuticles back first so don't mind the green paint i am a toddler preschool teacher and this week we are studying shadows um, and observance of groundhog day so first we did some cute little projects first we painted our hands brown and then we put a handprint on a piece of paper and then I put that away to dry so that later in the day we could decorate it with some little groundhog facial features and then I let them continue using the brown paint and then I added some green um, to represent a groundhog in the grass so and that was really fun and then I took butcher paper outside with us on the playground because it was a beautiful sunny day, like usual in Southwest Florida. And, and I had them stand on the butcher paper to where I could get kind of a good shadow of them while my co-teacher held their hand. Because they were kind of confused at what we were doing. They don't really understand, but still like to introduce and show them those things and so i traced them and they they enjoyed it they thought it was fun they didn't really know what i was doing one of them refused to stand up so i did her her shadow sitting on the floor so that was really cute but now i'm switching to my glass cuticle pusher and, <clears throat> excuse me, I know I've been saying it in several videos, but I'm still recovering from bronchitis. I just can't get the stuff out of my throat. So um, I'm just using a glass cuticle pusher. This one's really tiny. Uh, it's the only one that I haven't broken yet because I'm clumsy and... I end up dropping them and the tip breaks or this crack. So I need to, uh, this one works well, but um, I, I have problems with my hands and my fingers. So it can be kind of difficult to hold. I prefer the, the um, bigger ones, but this works just fine. So um, I'm just gonna gently go around and like little circles and just kind of rub it back and forth kind of loosen up that skin on the surface first. Uh, so going back to school, so I traced their, their shadows and then we hung it up in the hallway over the windows for, you know, parents and passersby to see. And then they, we really love the row your boat, but the extended version um, but instead of just row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, we then sing rock, rock, rock your boat gently down the shore. If you see a tiger, don't forget to roar. And then we go really fast. We sing row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! And we all scream really loudly. Um, I apologize for my terrible singing. My toddlers don't mind, though. So I belted out at school because 
doesn't matter how I sound. Also, if this looks really awkward, I'm using my non-dominant hand, so it is awkward. Uh, so that's the version of row, row, row your boat we do. So this morning I cut out a picture of just like a clip art of a rowboat, one of a tiger, one of a crocodile, and then I traced and cut it on black paper, laminated it, put it on a popsicle stick, and and then I turned off all the lights so we were in the dark and I used my phone flashlight and shined it on the walls and the floor to make the shadow puppets and the ceiling and they just got a real kick at that out of that at first uh they were they were um they kept wanting to look at the the images I was holding in my hands so it it took a little while to convince them to look at the walls um me and my my co-partner my co-teacher we had to um use some distraction methods to get them and then once they figured it out they got it uh it, it was kind of funny I, not it's not funny to scare kids but intentionally but I have one and you know he tends to be a little shy sometimes and he uh <laughs> when I did the crocodile on the floor the first time when I was moving and it kind of got close to his feet and he just he was like uh, uh, a little panicky but he didn't cry he didn't you know once I started laughing and being silly with it then he started laughing and he was fine after that but we have a lot of fun and while it's can be very stressful some days. It's very rewarding, very satisfying. I really like my co-teacher and I like my neighbor, my neighbor teacher. And uh, they're like my work besties. And we have a lot of fun throughout the day. And our kids are, are pretty funny. They keep it interesting, you know all kind of personalities and developmental levels and just it's just very rewarding knowing that um, you know I'm helping helping little little minds grow uh, I am a firm believer that kids learn by by seeing and doing rather than sitting down pointing at boards and flashcards so I'm not that kind of teacher I'm a I'm a let's do it let's have fun let's get messy kind of girl and we do get messy hence the stained fingernails and sometimes I come home and I'm just covered in goo and that's the most p fun part of my job. It um, keeps me out of a, a cubicle staring at gray walls all day. I did that for years and I felt very smothered. And now I can let my creative juices flow. So working with children allows me to do that. Doing my nails is another way that I do that and I also love to sew and quilt and read and play video games. I'm a huge Xbox fan and I love the outdoors and I am more than anything a crazy chicken lady. I have chickens, chickens, chickens. I have about maybe 27 chickens right now outside and I have just as an ex my I have two roosters that were kind of young and they just started breeding not to sell or anything not like that just they started mating with the random hens and uh, I just decided to pluck a couple eggs and pop them in the incubator and just see what happens and so I put seven in and I had to take one out because it wasn't fertilized. By, 
day three to five, you can um, do what's called candling an egg. You in the dark, you hold it up to the hold it up to a light, and you can see if it's developing any veins or anything. And uh, so I did that, and I have six viable eggs, and we have about eleven days left till hatch. So hopefully all six make it all the way. Um, we have sometimes in the hatching world what we call quitters. Even though they're developing right now, they can just suddenly stop developing. Just Mother Nature taking its course. I do. I wish I had chickens that would, um, you know, uh, incubate their own eggs. But we're none of my chickens hens really go broody and show that they want to do that but also we're not really equipped to do that because they need to be on the nest on the eggs and the nest pretty much 24 7 except to eat and drink and my chickens free range but then they go in at night so we can't leave them out in a nest all night because in southwest florida we have tons of predators so I'm just going around the nail now just very gently I'm not hardly using any pressure just going around kind of using that pointy stick to get any dry bits off so I did get a little bit of a um, snag right there, and I kind of picked it so it hurts a little bit, but it's not too bad. That green looks like greenies, but I promise you it is not. I always get these really thick pieces on some of my nails. Usually it's my thumbs. This one... I can never get this corner completely clean. It'll look like it for a minute, and then once I wipe it off, it's it's back. It never goes away. I am sitting in my it's my nail it's my nail area in the back of my living room, and um. My my desk is facing a window right here, and it's unusually cool here in Southwest Florida. And my husband is sitting out by the fire pit, and it's just beautiful to look up and see the flames out in the dark. Alright, so I'm just going to use a glass nail file to just lightly smooth out any uneven. I'm not going for any particular shaping. I'm not I'm not concerned about that right now while they're growing out. I just need to make sure that they're there's no snags because that's what leads me to start picking is I, I have, whew, if I feel anything snagging, I, I got to get rid of it. And if I can't get to a clipper or uh, a file fast enough, I just sit there and pick at it. And that's what leads to this mess. So... I'm just trying to get them even so there's nothing that feels like it's snagging. That just looks terrible. That finger is just beat up. I not only bit it, but I keep smashing it and doing things. This little piece right here that's fairly recent from hitting it. And, uh... A lot of my damage doesn't come from doing my nails, but rather smashing my nails. 
Like I said, the chickens outside, I do a lot of yard work and outside stuff and um, one day maybe I'll do a video tour out there. I have some pretty cool chicken coops. I have two chicken tractors which you know they're on wheels and they have handles so we can lift them up and move them so we don't have to um, muck them out I think is what it's called. I don't know because I don't do that. But uh, you don't have to go in and put down bedding and clean the poop or anything. We just every couple of days pick it up and move it. And then I have two of those and those are cool. But I also have two coops. They're called Nestera and they're all recycled plastic and they clean up super easy. They move very easy, but they have these um, pins that that go in and they have like a hook that goes over and it's very tight so that predators can't open it. And I was flipping it and, and got it smashed my finger because when that loop folds over it's it's hard it snaps and that's what happened to my finger so but I love my Nestera coops My nails grow all different shapes. Some grow square, some grow kind of flared out, some grow kind of more round. But again, I'm not really going for shape here. I'm just going for just kind of smoothing so nothing gets snagged. I hope if you're watching my videos that you're enjoying or getting some useful information out of them. I'm very new at this. I'm just I'm just starting this videoing journey and it's just to have a voice. It's It's not for anything other than that. I just want to share information and just share my own my own journey, my own tips, tricks, things like that. And if it's not for you, I understand. There's some really there's some really good videos out there, but if you don't if you don't relate to the person or what they have to say, then it, you know, sometimes you just don't click with everybody. So, I'm sorry if I keep getting low. I just kind of get into this phase where it's like more of a conversational. It's more of a, I feel like I'm kind of having a conversation um, with you guys. And... I'm not a super loud person, so unlike my husband outside, I guess his friend just stopped by and I can hear them outside on the patio. So I don't think you can hear them, but that's okay if you can. This is a really, um, nope, sorry, not this one. This is a really soft buffer and I'm just going to very gently go around my cuticle area. So, 
just to buff off any of that stuff. I'm hoping when I um, done and sanitize my fingers, you guys can see that. I do not have greenies, that it is green paint. <laughs> And people will be like, you're lying, you're just saying it's green paint. But it really is. My nails haven't been polished too much. I only did one polish recently in one of my videos. And that was um, with Drunk Fairy Polishes Flamingo. And... I can't seem to keep regular polish on my nails very long because I wash my nails. I wash my fingers. I'm sorry, my fingers. I wash my hands a lot, being a preschool teacher. So. <clears throat> I do use an e-file from time to time, um, but I, I'm not a nail tech, and at least right now, I don't feel comfortable using that in a video because I don't want anybody to uh, do what I'm doing with it if it's not being used correctly. I've mentioned it in my other videos. Me and my husband talked about it tonight. Um, I wanna go to nail tech school, uh, but it's at night because I do still have to have my full-time job, which is fine, but I have, an, I have an elderly dog plus all the chickens and uh, it just wouldn't be, f my husband's a, a firefighter so he does shift work it's not fair to the animals to especially the elderly dog that has health issues to come straight home from work take her out feed her and then immediately lock her back up again for that many hours in a day when both my husband and I are not home so I just don't really like doing that to her. So this is just 100% isopropyl alcohol. So I'm just gonna spray my nails and I don't see my nail brush. So it's funny, this green paint that stained my fingers, you know, with toddlers, um, it's near impossible to uh, have them paint and not uh, touch their face, their hair, their mouth when they have paint on it. So one, one child today with this green paint all over her fingers. She put her hands right on the top of her head and then just like rubbed downwards. So she may come to class tomorrow green. This nail is wonky. It's like starts back here, but it's not coming straight out. I haven't had any gel on, so I don't know what the severe peeling is. I'm just trying to do long strokes because I can't have them not even.
There we go. That looks good. I don't really use cuticle nippers unless I need to to get off like large pieces of hanging skin or hang nails, but man, they're looking. See that little piece right there? That never goes away, no matter what I do. Anyway, compared to the 1st of January, these look really good. They're looking a lot better. So, that's all I'm gonna do for now. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of cuticle oil. I think that'll be it for tonight. Slightly massage that in. There we go. I think they're looking pretty good now.